Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a like more of a challenge type thing so hopefully this will be slightly different for those of you who don't really watch the mental health videos on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing, well I say today, I mean this week, I am going to be doing a eating like a vegetarian for a week. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So my preference for eating is meat. I have been brought up um, in a family that eats meat and I went vegetarian for probably maybe six to eight months on my own and I kind of, I liked it, but it was really hard to be able to be vegetarian around my mum and my dad who eat meat. So I thought I would do a challenge. I've seen YouTubers do challenges like this. Anastasia Kings North is one of the biggest ones that I watch for, challenge, for food challenges especially. She does a lot about McDonald's and she does ones um, where she eats a certain colour food or a certain like type of food. Like around Easter she's, she has done like eating only Easter foods for 24 hours and stuff. When it came to the idea of like well I want to do something similar to what Anastasia was doing but I don't want to like do exactly the same and I kind of thought because I'm quite a fussy eater I'm a fussy eater doing a, ch a food challenge but yeah so anyway I thought I would do um, eating like a vegetarian for a week because I didn't think 24 hours would do it justice so I got myself some cheesy mash I thought that'd be quite cool and um, I got myself some of these um, spinach and feta parcels I also got myself you can see at the back let me see if I can grab it um, a it's a broccoli and cheese quiche for if you can't read that um, and I also got myself some toffee cheesecakes because they are vegetarian as well apparently. Um, please ignore everything else in the fridge because there's some things that are not vegetarian. I'm not sure if these are, but I will have a look. Um, I also then got a load of things like cucumber and courgettes and mozzarella parcels. There's some stuffed mushrooms under there and then there's some normal like baby button mushrooms. So I just got a few, a bit of a selection, um, just to hopefully give myself a few options for meals and stuff. I also do have a Tesco order coming tomorrow, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully I'll have a few more things on there that I can actually make into meals. I also wanted to say that I did actually get a few treats myself, so I got these Malteser cake bars that apparently are vegetarian as well, I did check whilst I was in the store, and these Mr Kipling six chocolate tarts so i got those as well which apparently are vegetarian i also got things like bananas and eggs and things like that today i haven't been awake very long i probably woke up around sort of start of midday i think and i thought well i've missed breakfast now so i'm going to have two of the items i bought at asda the other day um and i don't know if you can see this but if you can't see it i shall um insert a picture but basically it's quite a lot because i'm very very hungry after not eating breakfast but these parcels look like samosas i think are they called, called samosas i think so and kind of smell like a bit like samosas but they did say that they were vegetarian i know you can get vegetarian samosas but it, the, the pastry smells very much like a vegetarian samosa but it is feta i think it's feta and spinach one so i'm gonna give that a go and then i've got some stuffed mushrooms both of which the packets said that they were vegetarian because i'm not used to eating vegetarian it's very hard actually i walked around the supermarket and was like can I have this can't I have this like if it, and if it didn't say suitable vegetarians I didn't pick it up because I didn't actually want to accidentally pick something up that maybe had traces of I don't know animal fat or something in it because I'm not used to eating like a vegetarian and stuff so so basically I only picked up foods that said suitable vegetarians these two items were amongst the like party food for like summer 
So it was three, four, five pounds, I think it was in Asda's. So I got the the parcels, I think, on this deal, and I got I got a quiche, I got a broccoli and cheese quiche, I think it was, and I got some. I think it might have been mozzarella in pesto, like a little side dish thingy. And I think I got those, but and the mushrooms were completely separate. But yeah, let's give it a go and see. I also really apologise for my voice. For the past two days, my voice has been like really croaky. It doesn't hurt. It just is really croaky, so I don't know what that is. Um, but let's give this a go. It might be really hot because I've only just cooked them, but yeah. So that bite I didn't really get. I didn't really get a filling. I got pastry. Pastry's nice. Mmm, that's really nice. That is actually really nice. Yeah, and I'm gonna need to go and get a spoon here of the mushrooms, but the parcels are really, really nice, and I'll buy those. I would buy those again. I have just got myself a spoon and. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. I've tried the parcels and I think they are absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna try the mushrooms quickly on camera and then I will probably just speed up the next bit of the footage where I'm going to like just sit and eat it because I'm probably also going to watch some other YouTubers on YouTube as well. So these particular mushrooms that I got are like sort of, I think they're called portobello mushrooms, so really big ones, so really big sort of open top ones. And they were filled with cheese, I think cream cheese and some grated cheese. And it kind of smells like a bit garlicky. And I think I've seen a, a couple of bits of onion in there as well. And there's probably some breadcrumbs in there as well. So I'm going to try them and just... Mmm. Yeah, I will definitely be, be buying these two products again. They are amazing. I absolutely love them. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish eating these, but... Jimmy. Okay, so it is the next day, um, but it's currently 19 minutes past 11 in the morning and I'm going to be having like an early lunch because I have therapy um, in like about 10 minutes. So I'm going to have something really quickly, like I think I'm going to have a pear and then I'm going to have this apple fruit thing that I found and I'll show you everything before I eat it and everything. Now it's lunchtime and I have got two things that I have never tried before and actually part of this challenge is to allow me to try things that I probably wouldn't have tried before. I wouldn't have picked them up in the supermarket. So I'm going to show you what I've got. So I've got my mug of green tea. And it is like a, a version, I think it's from like Twinings or like Tetley or something, I'm not entirely sure, but it's green tea with mango and passion fruit. Once it's cool enough, I will show my reaction trying it. In this, I have added three teaspoons of sweetener, which I'm hoping is going to make it taste okay. So the main portion of my lunch is this Tesco pea and mint soup. I've never tried this one. I have tried their carrot and coriander and their tomato before. Da da la. Okay. Let's do um let's try. Let's try some pea and mint soup. I'm not entirely sure. I I know I like pea soup, but I'm wondering whether the mint is going to taste like, you know, mint sauce when you have like on your roast dinner. So I don't actually know. That is actually really nice. Ooh. It's a bit of an acquired taste, but I like it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my soup and I'll be back once I have. So please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you could leave any comments down below for any for like sort of meals or like items that you really, really like that are vegetarian then that wouldn't be much appreciated. I actually would love to maybe do this challenge again like but maybe for like longer slowly almost like build up to potentially being a vegetarian.